My name is Franz Kertner. I'm a professor in electrical engineering and computer science department here at MIT. Uh, in the research laboratory of electronics, uh, we are specifically in the group for optics and quantum electronics and we work on femtosecond laser technology. My current research and interests are due to the unique uh, capabilities you have with femtosecond lasers. One is uh, to generate a very periodic pulse strain in time and therefore can use uh, those pulse strains to sample electronic signals at much higher speed than you can do with current electronic systems. We create very short pulses of light in time and today uh, the limit of how short you can generate it are at femtosecond and attosecond time scales. So this is only a, a millions of a billions or a billions of a billions of a second. And for us especially is can we use this inherent qualities of optical sources to do, for example, signal processing much better when it is combined with this integrated optics and conventional electronics. Well, in RLE, so to speak, we have a, a joint home which uh, supplies us with a basic infrastructure for doing our research. A space, basic administration to handle proposals in a very high quality way so that we can focus on our research. It makes it very easy to really respond on emerging trends or needs uh, in technologies that come up. You have all these people around here and you can directly ask, uh, almost always the best in the world or maybe close to best in the world, what is really the fundamental limitations in this and that. And so you very quickly find either a solution to your problem or a team with which you can actually attack a certain problem. Students are essential because first of all they do the actual work in the laboratory but then also you need a steady stream of new ideas to overcome conventional thinking and simply a, a highly spirited mind comes along and turns your attention or he has already the focus in a completely different direction. Teaching is very important to me because of uh, actually conveying the knowledge to the students and also to uh, recruit new students uh, and it also enforces in yourself to rethink principles of thinking. You think over it again and again and try to illuminate it from different angles and that is very helpful to use sometimes actually old concepts in a new fashion. Of course in graduate teaching it's uh, very much different, it's very, very often uh, what you teach is very much related to uh, more modern research. The most important attribute to a researcher is persistence. So uh, you really have to think about why are you doing what you do and if you think that is important and a good way to do it, you have to go with it. That is why you go into this place every day and really like it. And to learn something new from other people or bring your own research a step forward. You know you are in a good place and you will, you want to live up to uh, the expectations people have from you. Uh, and then I think this all doesn't work without you really love what you are doing. It's really the fun of understanding uh, physics and technology and uh, pushing it forward into a new regime and maybe also using some of these tools for getting really new understanding in physics.